Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino inviting you to explore with me a nameless beauty most likely from the year of the Lord, 1998, when your warning labels were still in something like Times Roman. So this is a Gettycom machine about as heavy as like two modern desktops whose cover for the hard disk has been apparently lost but instead of making it less cute it just adds to its beauty and when we seat it in a perfectly horizontal fashion with the ventilation accessible as described in the warning label we should be able to turn it on where however your clumsy host has for a second mistouched the power supply over there and so I managed to just kill its electricity and I would not be too surprised if Windows 98 on startups up gives us a fit of hey you didn't shut me down so there we go with a nice booting screen and indeed 32 megabyte of a RAM Windows 98 being launched and indeed as Windows was not shut down properly hard disk C is being checked for errors well let's call that an exercise that I am not too unhappy with given that a machine of that age should have its hard disk checked from time to time goodness gracious <laughs> How old well does that make us lovers of such machines? But on we go. In general, it is a pretty swift little friend. Pentium 166 megahertz, 32 megabyte RAM, 800 times 600 points display. So no, not even 1024 times 768. And on we go to the blue screen of Windows, which is not that other blue screen that we still have a chance to see, given that this is Windows 98. So here, life is a rough. You're not having many of the luxuries which modern Windows is providing you with, in particular less safety. And I do not mean only the security screamers of privilege escalation and so on and so forth i mean you are in everything you do the equivalent of a root but i rather mean that anything misconfigured is going to be extremely unforgiving and anything it itself misconfigures will also be extremely unforgiving there are no system restore points and now i shall somewhat increase here your image in an effort to help you see better as things will be proceeding. What this machine does offer, and I find so extremely cute, is a sort of display down here, an LCD, which is showing you what is working where. I'm not having a clue of all of those symbols, but for instance, this seems to be clearly a contact being on. It is also showing when it is accessing the hard disk. It wouldn't need to show it because you're clearly hearing it scratch it. Not in a damaged way, but in a seeking sort of fashion. So you do actually hear the hard disk, but it's still also to, nice to have some visual display. Now what we see here immediately is that the system is supposed to be having Microsoft Outlook. I bought it that way like this is not something i installed this is a second hand computer i acquired so let's have a look at the own files everything has been neatly cleaned up and apparently so by a human being because we're having not even the example files aha uh -huh. okay here's some private stuff which very frankly 
I'm not going to access now because to whomever they belong. Likely it's someone who made them decades ago. So okay, own files are pretty cleaned up and apparently manually so. That is what we can say. Looking at the various programs, we're having here the Office suite of Microsoft. We're seeing here the Microsoft programs in that regard. There is Steig ein, some nonsensical Austrian program for trying one's, uh, like exercising for one's driver's exam. I may try to launch it, but I'm actually more interested in not having it because whatever it is teaching you is a driver's license a rule set of two decades ago, three decades ago. Does not seem to be very keen on starting anyway. We do see that the disk is working and maybe I should be giving it some more time. Ha. Huh. Wrong disk inserted. Indeed, the system contains a CD-ROM, which I had inserted because I wanted to boot it in a Linux, but that was not possible. Still, this is nice. So in other words, the CD-ROM drive is working. I have access to my, to my Slitas CD, which I cannot boot from. This is a machine so ancient that it cannot boot from CD, but it can read it intact. So let's call that a fortunate occurrence. I'm going to take out the CD. So it's gone now. It is as hot as being able to bake eggs on it. Yeah, that tells us something about its internal temperature. And looking again at the pro programs, things seem to be pretty empty. Sierra service programs, I may try these, which evidently are not there anymore. And let's have a look at the, uh, how do you call this, 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 like additional programs. So we're having free cell hard solitaire minesweeper. Oh yes, Minesweeper, a non-standard large field and a difficulty setting which really must be, did a kid set this or did somebody who was really, 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 really frustrated with Minesweeper set this? So these are everywhere, haha, <laughs> you, you will forgive me this little pleasure, right? So here one and here one. And here's nothing, and here is nothing, and ta-da! Ha! Huh, my first Minesweeper game here. Not exactly the very most challenging variety of it, but it worked. I could not resist. Then we're having system programs. Oh, the fragmentation, we're totally going to do that. Games. Um, then here, multimedia. We're having a Windows Media Player. I do not have anything yet to play on it. But yes, it's there and it works. Internet programs, web publishing assistant. Well, I would not care about that. And communication, net meeting. Okay. That means we're having already one more unpleasant detail to deal with. Namely, that we do not have any internet programs. I do not see here any Internet Explorer anywhere. Nor do I see the likes of Hyperterminal. So, that's weird. I shall put it into the net in another episode, but it is certainly something to note that the machine is apparently 
directed to serve merely as an office machine and in order to use this driver's license exercise program which if you permit I shall try to uninstall now I'd rather have the disk place please am I sure I want to remove it yes okay a little bit less trash speaking of removal what do I see in the control panel that I could you know remove So here we are having software. Haha. Ah. Uh, Katan demo. No, I don't want to have that. Yeah, I want to get rid of Katan. But the, the installation file is not there. Airport manager. Want it gone. But the installation is again cancelled. GK3 demo. Pff, whatever that is, if I don't know it, I likely don't want to have it. So, be gone it is. Again, I can't. I'm starting to have the feeling. And, and why is Steig Ein still here? I just uninstalled it. Yeah, deleted it from the list. So, we're having here Shockwave. I can uninstall the shockwave player. I for the moment won't. Do you want to cancel the uninstall? Yes. Because let's call it unlikely that I ever will put it back there. Microsoft Net Meeting 2.11. Gosh, I have no idea whether I want to have it. And the Harry Potter Creative CD certainly not. Remove, please. Or <sighs> exit setup. Let, let's see. Before we uninstall it, let's see what it is. This, this must be from the time when Harry Potter was the new hot thing. But I don't see any connection to it. I don't see anything starting this Harry Potter creative CD. Potter! Documents. Something about the Hoover. And something pumped in the vacuum pump. Yeah, okay, show me. But it's not there because, yeah, somebody has been cleaning up here. Right then, we're seeing here the C drive. Ah, yes, I have already, by the way, dumped a couple of things on the C drive. Though not yet tried them out. What is S Racer? It sounds like it might be some racing game. Uh, let's keep that in mind. And what are in the Program files, Bullfrog Hospital, Hospital Configuration, and Save. I don't know what is Bullfrog Hospital. I also don't know what in the program files is 10. I'm just going to remove both of them though, because I don't see any reason for them being here. I'm starting to have the feeling that whoever owned this laptop before me sometimes may have been just simply going and deleting things from the programs files rather than using some uninstallation. The program files are chock full of stuff, including something called Shoe This Money To which is the shoe of money to, oh gosh, these translations are getting ever more complex. 
What is that? Why would I have it? What does it do? And I can play it in various resolutions. Let's take my maximum one. Where am I? What's up? Does it do anything? Uh. This is the starting screen of Constantine film. You may have seen it perhaps more famously from the Untergang rather than the Shoe of Money too. Do, do I have to see this? The best part is how extremely choppy it is and how it sometimes simply stops thinking. Yeah, 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 escaping it. And I, I don't want to see all of it. Why do I see this? Shoot this money to... It's apparently some sort of game. I am extremely tempted to simply destroy it. But for now, it shall live. I'm going to terminate the game. And uh, no, no, don't show me the credits. Just get away. Okay, now. We saw what that is. So the program files are chock full of stuff. SMS. Unwise XSMT program tip zero one. Oh, this must have been someone who has been installing all of those things without caring too much. We're having things by Fisher Price, my favorite animals. And that indeed is a program, pet95.exe. Amazing. And here finally, we're having this Harry Potter creative CD. And we're having Potter Exe. Let's try Potter Exe. What is Harry? Potter's creative CD going to give me. The thing is, I don't have the creative CD. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. So I might be able to create a greeting card. Shall it be folded horizontally? Okay. Uh, now I can put an image, draw a line. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, is this complex? So, it is all the time jumping back to select instead of allowing me to write an H for Harry. It works. It is a terrible piece of software that I will never touch again. But it seems to work. That's nice. What is under Borland? Unfortunately, there is... Only something weird. BDE admin exe. I don't actually know what that is. So this must be some sort of database administration tool. 
somewhere among Fisher Price files, we are having that. Plus. What plus? What is in plus? I recognize none of this. But this must be some drive compression software looking at the way it is appearing. I would never use such a thing. The only thing you can do with that is get a lot of headaches. And some web publishing exe. Okay, what happens if I just double click it? Publish your files in the web. I can continue selecting files. Maybe that's some sort of software which wants me to give some local directory so that it can stream it over HTTP or something. And that looks like Microsoft Visual Studio, but it contains nothing again. Nothing but the folder structure. Yeah, and a lot of ancient help files. That would have been a catch. Unfortunately, wasn't. In other words, this Windows 98 machine is as trashed as it gets. And there are a lot of things which are somehow installed, but in a half-hearted way. What is CBS and what is Starter Exe? Looking at the way this system is administrated, one feels actually quite relieved to imagine that many Windows 98 machines were not connected to the internet. It doesn't do a thing. I don't even know what I will be needing it. Let's take some risks, ladies and gentlemen. We'll just nuke it. CBS install is going to the trash. It was not in the list of installed programs. So let's say I don't need it. Something weird happened. The CD-ROM drive just opened. Yes, everything, please. I find it very funny when Windows 98 was telling you that file is a program, do you want to keep it? If I destroy all of its shared libraries and so on and so forth, why would I want to keep it? We do have, we do have the Internet Explorer, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we don't reach anything. And I can check my network settings. Yes, please. I do wonder, do I see my network card? But it doesn't want to open it. And Microsoft front page office and net meeting are also there. Something also is called online something, MSN 50. Okay, I am not very impressed by that. Now the question is, will we be playing the shoe of money too? Or will we maybe go further up one and try this racing thing, S racer? I'm actually, and what, what on earth is Westwood? Westwood AR2, AR2, Taunts, Conquer. Let's stay away from it and just try the racing game. sracer.bat. Yes, please. Ah, oh, it is not ready reading drive D. In other words, this must be something which 
needs another CD-ROM in order to work. If I do setup exe, no device detected, MIDI device, no device detected. Auto detect, whatever that is. Okay, I don't care. Just just detect. This was it. Doesn't do anything else. What exactly is in the batch file? It is the reference to another exe, which we do not have. Okay, we're going to be removing this folder. Shift delete. Yes, all of them. And you know, I did, of course, insert a couple of things by myself because I could not imagine just operating without some of my common and beloved other programs like basic interpreters from DOS, Lisp, and so on and so forth. Looking in the Windows folder, Isn't there Edlin? I had read somewhere it might be findable here, but unfortunately not. Good, good. Program, programme. And now it's time to play the shoe of money too. A game I have never touched before and never will touch since. And I shall pick a resolution. Let's pick something smaller. Because last time the animations were extremely chopped and maybe such a high resolution is not good for this machine. I hear absolutely nothing. And noteworthy is that I didn't hear anything during the startup of Windows. So I very much assume that there is an issue with the sound of the computer. Maybe the sound card is not working or maybe only the sound is working over headphones some such variation. Escaping this, please escaping this. And now let's look at a game which is absolutely unique. It looks completely terrible. Am I going to play as Abahachi or as a Ranger? I'm going to play as Abahachi. Shall it be simple, complex or hard? Simple. Please give your name. Abahachi. God, seriously? What am I doing? I'm throwing tomahawks with spacebar. Ooh, and I can move. Oh, but I was shot. I can play again. Ah, these are the hostages. That's the bad guy. I get it. Can I, can I move finally? Like, how's it going? It's 
seriously? Spacebar. Or do I press enter? Like, what, what do I do? Spacebar does not immediately give me. I think I'm just going to kill a hostage that way. Oh my god, I'm pressing whatever there is. Seriously, this is... Getting soon the price of the worst computer game. Of all times, and I don't know what terrible soundtrack it has. Up arrow is tomahawk. Okay, let's let's laser here the guy with tomahawks. I'm also sorry for having gotten a little bit of on the hostages, but is this something I can have? Uh, this is something they threw at me. They threw at me a chair. This game is utter torment. Up arrow. Uh, can I can I move? Hello. Up arrow. Am I am, am I even able to kill hostages or? Oh, another bad guy. Let's let's kill these this other bad guy as well. Yeah. You have a laser beam of tomahawks. What on earth? Another bad guy. Let's let's give him. Give it to him. Yeah, laser beam of tomahawks. Another bad guy, laser beam of tomahawks. This has to be Come on, stand into the laser beam, please. Will you please step to the side, sir, and die? Ooh, a chair is being thrown at me. Ah, come on, move, move to the side. Did not immediately kill me, okay. The controls did not react of, of this, this. Do I have to destroy this? I destroyed the chair. Ah, there's a bad guy with a gun. Would you please step into the laser beam, sir? Ooh, there's a gun which I can dodge. A gun bullet. So this is... Okay. What will happen if... Oh, there's a bullet flying towards me. How convenient that he doesn't move. A chair is coming towards me. Constantine Film, I'm, I'm showing this to the internet. Yeah, they shall know what game you made. End of the game. Thanks God. I did not free anyone. I cannot imagine what would have happened if I had. And... That's it. I hope you enjoyed this game. For now, we're going to say goodbye to it. If I want to send something to a server, I shall connect to the internet. No, I'm just going to cancel this. The Shoot of Money 2 is a terrible German comedy, which is funny for I don't even know whom. It has its moments, but it is slapstick pure. So for some reason, It did not appear to me possible to uninstall it from here, right? If it is not possible to uninstall it from here, I will simply destroy it. Kata, nothing. Okay, we do not have it in, even in the list of the installed programs, so shift. 
the lead, the shoe of money to all, please, has gone. I have now one gigabyte free space. And let's, let's go upward to the drive C itself. Which is nice for when I got the machine, I had a lot less free space. In other words, deleting these nonsense programs certainly did give me something. With that, actually, I don't need to, to do much further. I'm quite happy with that. I do not entirely see though, where exactly is its infrared port? Here are just the audio ports. Over there, we are having the battery, the floppy, and so on and so forth. And on the back, we're having weirdness pure ports. Fortunately, also the standard serial port. But I do not even see any network card. I do not even see anything where I could plug in a network card. So I am only having COM ports in order to connect to wherever. There seems to be some, two, two interesting things are not, noticeable. Maybe somewhere here, this doesn't look like an infrared port though. And what is that? That, that must be, yeah. A slot for PCM CIA cards and evidently two. Right under it, we're having the CD-ROM drive, which is certainly working as it recognized my Slita CD. So, in whatever way we bring this thing one day into the internet, it will not be over a network card unless I choose to fiddle with a PCM CIA network card. I think for a first overview over this new beauty in our collection, in the harem, <laughs> that video is quite sufficient. I hope you enjoyed it. I am inviting you heartily to future adventures. And if you're not a subscriber yet, it would be very kind of you to consider it. Until we see each other again, have a great time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.